All right. So um, I want to welcome you all to the Neighborhood Reports introduction. Um, I'm very excited about this. Uh, this is a, a pretty nifty little report um, that is going out. It looks good, looks great. So I'm hoping you will all uh, engage in this. Now, last time I taught this class, the um, it didn't work. So uh, let's hope everything works this time. All right, so this is what we're going to talk about. I'm going to give you a little bit of introduction. I'm going to tell you what it looks like. I'm going to show you how to add it to a community tab. I'm going to show you how to add it to the top of your website. I'm going to show you how to send it to a client. Um, I'm going to give you all these directions also. And I just want to let you know they are on our YouTube channel too. There's three different videos for each one of those three scenarios. Um, you don't have to watch the beginning of every video. That's exactly the same. It's just, I think it's after four minutes or something that it goes into the different ways to do it. So, okay, so that's what we're gonna talk about. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, the top part is um, just basically a little snapshot. It says what's currently for the market, what's sold. Uh, it will list all the solds, um, everything for sale, all the actives. Uh, it will also do all the pendings and all the solds uh, set up for however long you set the criteria. So if the criteria goes back six months, it'll do six months worth. If it goes back three months, it'll go back three months worth. I don't know if I would do any further than that. Uh, as you can see, there's little pages on here. So um, it's only going to show the first six and then however many you have on there. Uh, that's how many pages you're going to have, and that's how long it will take the report to load up. And then there's a market summary report in the middle with the price, sales price, home sold, number new on market, a couple little graphs, days on market, some demographics for whatever area that is, and then some school info. What do you do to pick an area? I'll show you. I'm going to walk you through all that there, Del. Okay. Um, and then um, you'll see the demographics and then it gets into the schools. Uh, not a big fan of the schools one. It comes from a company called um, Lively and it's really a, it's not a statistical information. It's based on input from students and teachers and all that stuff. And then there's the uh, branding, the co-branding there and then the website. Okay, so this is what the report looks like. It's pretty nifty, it's pretty nice, it looks great. I think it's awesome little report. Um, should give everybody what they're looking for. Now let's talk a little bit about um, the top part of the report. The top part of the report is um, search driven. So however you set up the search, that's what's gonna show up. If you only click actives and pendings, then you will only see two of these buttons show up here. If you click actives, pending, and sold, you'll see all three of them, and then you'll see the three different sections. So um, on the websites, it defaults uh, to um, just actives. So you have to go in there and you have to actually change those. So make sure you're doing that when you do your search. That way you can get good statistics. Okay, so pretty simple. Now there are different sections. When you go in to upload or uh, to set up your uh, neighborhood report, uh, these are all the different categories that you have to uh, manage. The first two you absolutely have to do. There's nothing you can do about that. The search summary is the top part. So. As a report on zip code, we currently have market tracker that covers each zip code. It is, um, so that's in the chat. It is how you set up the search and we're gonna go into that. So just hang on. Um, uh, I'm not gonna answer that question here. Um, so the interior page and the search page you have to do. Now I'm gonna walk you through all this, okay? I just wanna show you uh, what is in here first and then I'll walk you through all these steps, okay? 
Um, a course search summary, which is that top part you want to leave on. The listings, you want to leave those on. So I always always turn those on. The circle charts, um, we just started get we just got started, so you're you're good to go. So the circle charts are these. That's what it looks like on that report. And I'll go back one page. Actually, Zen Dika, this is what it looks like. So this is what the report looks like. Okay. So um, these are the circle charts. Branding one and branding two, this is what it looks like. Uh, and then the market information is this section right here. So you can turn on or turn off each one of these sections from search summary on down. You can turn those on or off and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, the first two you're gonna kind of have to, to do, okay. Okay, so there are three different options that you can use this for. The first option is if you have a layout a website layout that has community pages on it, you can use this report as the link for one of those different communities, okay? Option number two is at the top of your website on the navigation bar, you can add these as a navigation uh, all on its own. And you can see Poultry Test NR1, that's uh, all by itself or you can add it in as a community and just have a whole bunch of them in there as your different communities, okay? Your option number three is that you can send this report directly to a client uh, and you can set up how often it goes out, frequency and all that good stuff, so. Um, okay, any questions about that? Pretty simple. Okay, no, awesome. Okay, when you set it up to go out to a client, they're gonna get an email and the email looks like this. It's really nice, looks great. Um, and uh, you click on the report and by clicking on the report, it will uh, give them all the information they need. So that nice fancy report, okay? So I just wanted to show you what that looks like. I was happy with um, how this email came out. It's very professional, looks great. So I like it. Now, tips, tips or tricks, tips and tricks, not or, it's and. So one of the things I want you to do is create a spreadsheet uh, when you're doing this. That way you can um, create multiple searches and multiple network reports at one time. Okay. Yes, it's all on your website, okay? So um, that way you don't have to go back and forth, back and forth throughout the whole website. So it's nice and smooth, right? We wanna keep it nice and smooth. The other thing is know where you wanna be before you get started with these. And what I mean by that is, am I gonna put it as a navigation tab? Am I gonna add it as a new layout page? Am I gonna just send it to my clients? That way you can start at the right spot and end at the right spot without having to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So for example, if you wanna use these as a layout, uh, you know, a community on one of your layouts, then you're gonna to have to start with that layout, right? You're gonna to have to select it and go from there and then kind of work backwards, okay? Upload all of your custom photos at one time. If you're going to customize the photos, uh, what I always recommend is go on Google, do whatever you're gonna do, get all your photos. You know, if you're gonna do one for Burian, Federal Way, Eugene, Florence, then get all those pictures set up and uploaded all at one time and I'll show you how to do that, okay? Also create all of your searches at one time. So if you know I'm gonna do a Federal Way, a Burian, a Eugene, and a Florence, then create a spreadsheet accordingly and do all of your searches at one time. It just makes it easier doing that. And of course the neighborhood reports, just do those all at one time too. It just makes it easier, all right? So it makes it a piece of cake. Um, 
Make sure your client is a web client before you save anything to them. And what I mean by that is if you go to the client list and click clients, um, your report shows up or all your clients show up. If your client has a black circle next to it, then they're not going to receive any emails from you whatsoever other than, you know, they're not going to receive any marketing emails. You have to make sure, sure you change that so they're amber. Okay, color orange, amber, burn orange, I don't know what color it is, let's just say amber, okay? So make sure before you send anything to them, because nothing's gonna go out if they're not amber. So we need to make sure, and I'm gonna show you that. Uh, save or publish everything after you create. So every time you create something in your website, save it, go back into your website and make sure that it works, okay? because we don't want you to keep going, keep going, and then find out that it's uh, it didn't work from the get-go and you got to start all over. Okay. Uh, close your website after every test. So if you have your website open, so you click open website, you go in, you test it. Best thing to do is close that um, and then reopen it every time. If not, you have to go in and hit the... Um, the um, button, I can't remember, the refresh button. There you go, the refresh button. And then that'll pull up your changes. If not, you'll go to your website and you'll be looking for the changes and they're not there and you'll get frustrated. So just, I, I always just close it, it makes it easy. Then you get a nice fresh upload before you move on. The other thing is call me if you have any issues. If anything's going on and you don't feel comfortable with it, give me a call and I'll be more than happy to walk you through it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to send you this slide deck afterwards. All right. These are the steps you need. Oh, I got to type up. These are the steps that you're going to need, the squirrel, uh, to do each one of these. Now, step one through three are exactly the same for each one of these different steps. So, you know, don't feel that you got to do them. And then it changes after step Four, okay, so here's how to put it to your community tab. Uh, here's how to set it up for a client. All right, okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my website. Okay, where's my website? Here we go. Okay, and I'm going to close down my emails so you guys can't read my emails okay uh can you all see uh the back end of my website yep okay awesome now if you go to my website you'll see i have a couple of community pages on here all right this is my fancy dancy new website i just set this up um please don't use my website as an example it's totally screwed up because i always use it for training and then i'm going to launch federal way when i launch federal way Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Yay. <laughs> okay, so this is what the report looks like. Now, when you're doing this, I want you to think about search engine optimization, right? So homes for sale in Federal Way, housing statistics for Federal Way, that kind of stuff. So that'll be the top part. There's also this bottom part, and you can do whatever you want with this bottom part. I, always, I also recommend that you uh, put a link in here to a, an additional page that's on your website for more information about Federal Way. And maybe go into the schools, maybe go into um, um, you know, an individual search or something like that, or however you want to do that, okay? So here's the top part. You can see the snapshot, currently for sale, recently sold. Here's the recently sold. Um, and again, it's gonna show based on whatever search criteria you set up, okay? Uh, and then the statistics for that, and then pendings, and then solds. And then here's the circles, so it goes into the circles. Here's agent branding number one. 
and then it goes into the market summary. And one of the things I like about the market summary is if you have a search that has multiple zip codes in it, they can click on this and it will change the data for the zip code, okay? So I thought that was pretty slick, um, just, just me. Okay, okay, so um, here's the demographics, here's the school information, uh, and then there's another agent branding that I turned off and I turned it off and it's agent branding number two because I already had this here. So I'll, sometimes it showed as a duplicate. So I turned that one off, but you can, you can see that, okay? So that's what it looks like if you do the layout on your community page on the front. Here's a little um, one. So if it's at the navigation bar at the top, um, this is what it shows, and this is a totally different uh, search, right? So this was condominiums. And you can see here where it does the multiple pages. So if I want the multiple pages, there you go. All right, so the more you have, the more you just click on it, it'll change those houses. All right, and then again, the circles and then the statistics, and then you can change the zip code. There was only one zip code in there, so it didn't change. Okay, and then the schools and all that good stuff, all right? Now, when you get that email um, from the, uh, when your client gets that email, this is exactly what they're gonna see. It's gonna send them to this neighborhood report, okay? All right, so I'm gonna turn off uh, I'm going to close my web page and then I'm going to go back to the back end of my website. Okay. Now I'm going to do this very slowly. Okay. So, first thing we do is we go to Site Builder. Okay. Collections and then Image Library. Now, make sure that you're not using copyrighted material when you pull off images from Google or wherever you're pulling them off. I highly recommend you just go take your own. Uh, that way, you know they're great, they look good, they're exactly what you want. So you have that, okay? Uh, and then we're gonna go My Image, and then we're gonna add an image, and then we're gonna browse. And let's just go to logos. Okay, now I think I can do multiples. So I can do multiples at one time. I hit okay, All right? Now I'm gonna create a new category and it could be whatever you want. I'm gonna name it neighborhood, neighborhood report three. Click agree that you're not copywriting anything, not using copyrighted materials, and hit save image. Okay, so now if I go down to the bottom, I should have a neighborhood three and it copied all of those photos. So that's really easy, right? You can load those up at all, all at one time. And that's why I say do it at one time, right? Because you do it once each Tuesdays, it kicks you out, then brings you back in, it kicks you out, puts you back in. So these are all photos that I took. Pretty good, huh? Except for that one. That one's fuzzy. I didn't take that one. Right. Okay, so that's the photos and uploading the photos. Now I'm going to go Site Builders, Search, Manage. And these are all the different searches that I've set up already, okay? Now, if I want to manage this 98003, I click the manage button, and these are the different things that I can do with it. This URL is the one you might want to copy and paste into your search or your uh, Excel spreadsheet. That way you have it, you don't have to keep going back and forth, back and forth, okay? So, and if you want to edit it, you can do that. So you can do that all right here. Now, if you want to set this as your default search, on your web page, you can click this button and it'll set it as the default. So I'm gonna click that one to default and let's see what happens. Okay, 
Now, this is what I mean by know where you want to go before you get there. Um, I'm going to create a search for every single neighborhood report that I want to set up. Okay. So I'm going to click um, create my agent, save searches. Now, this should default to 98422. That's good. It did. And you can see it pulled up. So I'm going to change that because I don't like it. Now, when you do a search, you can do a search three different ways. You can, well, no, I rephrase that. There's three different ways to do it that will lead you to other ones. So for example, if I put in here federal way, okay, there's a drop down that's federal way. So I can do it based on federal way. And then it gives me the first 10 neighborhoods. So if I want to do this based on a neighborhood, let's say Campus Highlands, um, I could select that and then I could hit go and it'll do just Campus Highlands. Okay, pretty slick. Yep, all right. So I can do it by the city, I can do it by the neighborhood, um, I can do it by the zip code. Now let's do 98003. Now, when you do the zip code, you want to let the computer um, generate what it thinks that you're trying to type in there. So, for example, 98003, I hit 98003. I don't just hit go because I want it to um, really focus in on what the computer thinks, right? So by selecting the options the computer gave me, then I know they're right, okay? So here it popped up 98003. It's got some scragglers over there too, so I'm not sure why that did that. Okay. Got a question in the chat. Yes. Um, yes, Dell, you can search by RMLS areas. Although, I don't know if I would do that because the general public doesn't know what our MLS areas are. They know what our zip codes are, they know what our neighborhoods are, our cities are, that kind of stuff. So I don't know if I would do it by MLS area. Um, so this is area code 9803, and we're just gonna go with that one, okay? Now, first thing I'm gonna do is click here, and you can see it defaulted to active pending solds. Um, vacant land, commercial, um, so on and so forth. I'm going to do a different one here. I'm going to do Federal Way. And then I'm going to put pick um, Campus Islands, okay? Because I already have a 98003 in there. Then I'm going to go. It's going to narrow it down to those three, okay? So then um, you can set if you want commercial, vacant land, any of that good stuff, and then you're going to hit submit. Now, you can do um, whatever your MLS does. The criteria should be in there under advanced search. I would not, um, I would not, go too deep into this because the more properties you get, the better the report is going to look. So for example, we only have three homes in here. So the report's not going to look very good. Okay. So think about that as you're doing it, right? And, and then kind of go from there. And then um, I want this sold date to be whatever I want. So I only got three that showed up. So let's hit six and then submit, see if any more pop up. Okay, so I got some more. So that that's okay, right? Now I got uh, eight properties. Not the best, but it's better than nothing, okay? Now let's say I do this and I don't like this, so I'm gonna close it. And then I'm gonna do the third major option that we have, which is to um, do a polygon, okay? So if I go polygon, uh, you'll see the little um, plus sign there. I click where I want to start, and then I'll drag the line. I click where I want to stop again, 
and then keep going. And I believe you can only do uh, eight categories or eight different dots or changes. And then I come all the way back and that'll give me my little report thing, okay? And now I have much more, much more, many more, some more additional uh, properties in there, okay? So um, I might want to change this criteria. It all depends on who I'm sending this to. So if you're going to do it for a client, you might want to do just their neighborhood or maybe go a little bit outside their neighborhood so you get more properties. So do a polygon you know, within a radius, maybe. Uh, and then you know, I'm going to go back to three months because so many more properties showed up. So I'm going to go back to three months. I'm going to hit submit. Okay, so it gave me quite a few here. All right, so I've set up my search. Whatever my search is, that's what's going to show up on the report. So if you want a little teeny tiny one, go neighborhood. If you want a little bigger one, go a radius. If you want a, a bigger one, then do zip code and then maybe city, right? But if you do like Portland, you're going to get a bunch. So you might need to do zip codes. All right, now I'm going to do saved search. Don't ever click it, select client. Only click the my, my website and then hit continue. Okay. And now I'm going to name this. So I'm going to name this uh, Federal Way. Um, well, let's do. Um, um, yeah, let's just do Federal Way Test 100, okay? So I know what it is. And you can name it whatever you want. It's up to you. I would always name whatever your search is, whatever the end product is. So if you want to go 98003, then that's what you name your search. If you want to go 98003 commercial, then do 98003 commercial, right? So whatever you want. Now you can replace any search in there that you already have just by selecting it and replacing it. Okay, I'm hitting submit. It's gonna take me back to my saved uh, search manager. You will see my new one in there, uh, Federal Way Test 100. If I want to copy the URL, I hit manage, copy the URL, I'm gonna copy and paste it. Okay, I always like to do preview in a new window to make sure that that search is actually working. Okay, gave us 81 properties. That's pretty good. That's a good number. All right, now I'm going to close that. Remember to close it. And then I'm going to cancel that. So I know that search works. So I'm just going to keep doing this, right? I'm just going to keep creating my searches, keep creating my searches until I get all the searches in there where, that I want to do. Okay. Now I'm going to go site builder, collections, interior pages, add, SEO. Now I'm going to name it whatever I named it, right? Test uh, 100. Now you have two options. You have a gray option and you have a black option. I kind of like the black option a little bit better. So, um, Angie, I'm assuming JSHT is you. Uh, Angie is asking you create a search for each client in your database. Yes. If you're going to use this as a report just for them and call it your nosy neighbor report, then yeah, you're going to create a neighborhood report just for them, okay? I think what you'll find though is as you do that, you might not have enough data, so you might have to go outside that neighborhood and, and do more of a radius kind of thing than, a, um, than just doing their neighborhood, right? Okay, so I'm gonna pick, pick, I'm gonna pick the black one, which is luxury neighborhood, because I like that, I like that look better. Okay, and then I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna go SEO. And you can see I have 13 of them on here because I've been playing with it. 
And you'll see here Federal Way Test 100, which is the one, the search that I just did and the SEO page I just created. Now you're gonna to wanna to go in here and put the meta description and the keywords in there, right? So homes for sale, Federal Way 98003 Washington, right? Because that's what's gonna get your SEO. Now this OG right here is um, your mobile. So whatever, whenever it says OG, that's for your mobile site. So your image on your website might be a little blurred um, if you're using it on your mobile and it might not fit the screen. So you've got to check that. Okay, the title you might want to change, but if you name it correctly, uh, the title will look the same. So it doesn't really matter um, for me today because I'm just going to, this is just for you guys, so I'm not getting particular about it. But that's why you got to plan this out ahead of time for what it looks like in the title, in the, in the top page, okay? So what I mean by the title is like this one says interior page. Um, whatever that title is on there, that's what's going to pop up here. And you don't want it to be FW test 100, right? You want it to be whatever that neighborhood is, okay? So after I get done doing the settings, I'm going to go to edit page. And this is where it's going to give me my criteria. So here's neighborhood report. What's up? Nothing's going to show up because I don't have a search assigned to it yet. So I'm going to do interior page and then interior page. Don't ever do advanced editor because that overwrites everything. So just ignore that. This is what's going to show down here. So down here, I would put uh, current statistics, statistics. I spell that right? Yeah, that's okay. Federal Way, Washington, uh, 98003. Um, click here for exciting things to do in federal way. I uh, might want to put Washington in there, right? So in the bottom, I can do another link. So click here. If I created another page in my website, right, that has information all about things to do, top things, top 10 things to do in federal way, maybe it's a video. Um, if I highlight click here and then hit insert link then I put that URL in there and I always change it to new window and hit okay okay so interior page I start retyping the stuff on the top and the bottom so home stats I'm just going to do this for quick kick kicks giggles federal way uh, 9803 okay does that make sense any questions on that? Nope, okay, good. Then I'm gonna go save search, select the save search, and then I'm gonna find that one, Federal Way 1000. Don't ever do this. If you do this, it kicks you out, saves your search, and then you gotta start over, okay? So try and stay away from that. Now, search summary, it's kind of backwards. See how it says hide? So if I want to hide it, I click the button. If I want to show it, I click the button. Okay, so it's a little bit backwards. Now I'm going to do that for each one of these. So listings, of course, you're going to leave the listings. Circle chart, I'm going to leave that on. Agent branding one, right? Market info, uh, agent branding two, okay? So again, and you can put the agent branding two in the bottom one. Do it however you want. That's totally up to you. Now I'm going to hit interior page, right? Publish page, and then OK. All right. Now that page has been created, that SEO uh, report. So if I go to marketing, neighborhood reports, you'll see Federal Way Test 100. And if I want to see what that looks like, I hit view. All right. So now I know it works. 
All right, currently for sale, 436, or that stays on market. Wow, okay. Um, so 10 currently for sale, one must have been on there for like 10 years or something, okay? And then here's all the statistics and the actual websites. That one's probably been on for a while because it's new construction. It's a nice little house. Okay, I, I, I digress. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> I'm looking for a house. So anybody know a good realtor? And then you'll see there's a bunch of solds, right? So those are in there. And then here's the statistics. Here's agent branding one, the market summary with the different zip codes. All right. And then the statistics and the demographics, the school stuff. And then here's the agent branding two. Okay. Okay. Any questions about that? Pretty easy squeezy. Okay, now I'm gonna close that and get back to here. Now, this, the system is the same no matter how, what you wanna do with it. Create the search, create the neighborhood report, okay? Create the search, create the neighborhood report, and then whatever you wanna do with it. So for example, if I'm gonna do neighborhood reports, which is the page I'm already on, and I wanna use this later, I'm gonna view it, and then I'm gonna save this URL, and I'm gonna put that in my spreadsheet so that way I don't have to go back and keep going back and forth, back and forth, right? So now it's in my spreadsheet. If I wanna send this to a client, then I click on there, and then add client, and then start typing whoever you want to send it to. So I only have one, so that's why only me showed up. So here it shows that it is, now I can change the frequency. So we'll send it out every three months. Now I click this little box right here, and that will automatically send it to me right now. So I'm gonna get that report in my email in the next couple minutes. If I don't wanna send it out right now, then don't click that box, okay? If you have a property that throws off the states, can you remove that, oh, stats. Um, that throws off the stats, can you remove that property from the stats? That's a good question, I don't think so. Um, so, no, I don't think so. You may have to change the criteria to um, number of days on market or something, and that'll only give you so many, right? Do I have a sample spreadsheet that I use? No, it's just very simple. Uh, you know, your standard spreadsheet, the name of your search, the search URL, and the name of the neighborhood report and that URL. Right, so it doesn't have to be fancy. It's just very, very simple. Now you'll see here, it shows my frequency. So if I wanna change my frequency and I want it every week, then I go edit, change it to every week, hit save, and then you'll see it say changed it to seven days, okay? Now it shows right here if I'm unsubscribed or subscribed or all that good stuff, all right? Yeah, that's it, all right? Keep it, keep it simple. I'm a simple guy. Obviously, you can tell with the Zoom link issue that I had, I'm a super guy. I need to keep it simple. All right. So if you want to add this as a layout on the front of your page, a community page on your layout, then you very simply go site builder, collections, site editor, Right, and this is what I'm talking about right here. So I wanna add it to one of these. Then I'm gonna go home page, and you'll see this one has five communities. I have two of them turned off. So I'm gonna to go, to, let's do Northeast Tacoma. I'm gonna do Northeast Tacoma, and here's that URL that I need. So I copy that URL, and I just paste it into there. 
right? And then it's gonna change that search, okay? And then of course, once I do that, I wanna publish home, hit okay. And then I'm gonna go site builder, view website. I'm gonna check it to make sure it worked. And it should give us, yeah, so it's messed up, right? Um, so it's different. So here's the 436 days on market. Okay. So there's the report. So it changed it. Now I'm going to close that. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to add it to your navigation bar. Okay. So site builder, collections, site editor. Okay. I know I was already on the page. I just wanted to show you how to do it just in case you weren't, okay? Um, navigation, edit navigation. Um, and you can see I've got one on there already. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna remove that one. Okay, now don't get in here and get too crazy with this because um, if you do too many things at one time, and don't push publish navigation, uh, sometimes it won't save. So I do like three or four of them and then publish and then go back and do it again. Do three or four, publish and do it again, okay? So I'm gonna go down to the SEO. You can do all, but I'm gonna go down to the SEO. Here's my Fedway test 100. I'm gonna add to navigation. You'll see it's on the top. Now, if I want to leave it as its own click, right, on the top of the navigation bar, I'm going to leave that. You always want to mark open in new tab, right? And then I'm going to close it, and then I'm going to publish navigation, okay? Now, if I want to have a community tab like I do right here, and I want it to show in the community tab, Click the community tab, click the drop down. You'll see this drop nav items here. If I grab it and drag it down and see how that orange line is between the two. Oop, I broke it. That's how you want it to you want it to go. And sometimes you gotta kind of play with it. So now it's in that drop down, right? Close the drop down. Um, and then close the community, and you see it's no longer at the top, okay? Then I publish navigation, hit okay, site builder, view website, um, communities, you'll see Federway 100 there, hit the thing and make sure it comes off, okay? So there it is, all right? So now I've shown you three ways to do it. I'm gonna kill that and I'm gonna kill that. And then I'll go back to my site editor. So I showed you three different ways to use this. Um, are there any questions? Okay, let's go back to this. Um, let's do site builder search manage. And let's see if we can fix that one. So I'm gonna manage that search, edit it, and let's see if we can, um, let me see, days on site. Um, now let's, let's try 90 days. Now, if we have some people from Oregon, from the REP real estate professionals, this sold date won't show up. So you don't have that option. It's just gonna pull up all the solds. I'm not sure why. Uh, we're gonna get that, try to get that fixed and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I believe the one that we, um, ooh, that's a nice house. Uh, let's see, that one was 735, right? Or something like that in that price range. It's probably all these new ones here, right? Those new construction ones. 
That one was, uh, the one I thought it was, was 735 or something like that. Oh, there it is, 740. So it's still there. Let's see if that's the one we're having issues with. No, it was only on the market for eight days. So let's, um, well, let's see if that changed our search. Nope. Probably because we didn't save the search. Okay, so let's go back. Oops. Let's go back to here and then um, let me see. Can I look at this as a, in a different way or is that the only way I can look at this with these thumbnails? No. Oh, well. Okay, must be the only way I can do it. So let's save the search. We're gonna replace Bedway test 100. We're gonna hit that. We're gonna go back to here. Okay, and then let's see if that, um, change the statistics because it should right because it's a different totally different search yeah so it ch totally changed everything See? so that's how you get rid of those goofy statistic ones so if you have like so for example for 98422 where i live there aren't that many cells there's only 10 maybe 15 a month so if i have one that's up to three million dollars it throws all the statistics off. So you might want to, well, I don't know. I would just leave it in there, right? Because then you're going to have to go in there and play with it every single time. I get the days on market one. That that, that makes sense. But, um, you know, changing it for a price or something like that, I wouldn't do that. Besides your website, are there others in our company that have these neighborhood reports on their website for us to check out? to see how we may want to post it to our website. Um, there's only a couple of them. So um, Matoko Haney has hers. Uh, Amy Hartwig has hers. Let me show you real quick. Let me show you. Step by sample would be great, a PDF. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna give you our YouTube channel slash B-H-H-S-N-W-R-E. So that's our YouTube channel. Um, I'm also gonna send you the, um, I'm gonna send you the slide deck from today. So you have that slide deck, okay? Um, yeah, so you have that slide deck and then, um, um, between the videos and the slide deck, you should be okay. If not, give me a call, let me know. Um, I also recorded this, so I'll put this up on our YouTube channel also. Uh, so that's there. Uh, since it worked, I'll actually use this recording. Okay. Okay, pretty simple. Any other questions? <laughs> Angie's like, yeah, whatever. I'm not doing. <laughs> no, really, it's easy. Not a it really, it really is easy. I, I guarantee don't think it's it. A question. Uh, it's just yeah, a I have one. Uh, this is, uh, this tool will work best for me for customers that have specific needs that I can send to them, so I can have this send out to them what's available that might meet those needs. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, you can do any search you want. So if you want to get that specific with it, you definitely can, right? So this is Motoko's, um, and she has um, seven different communities on hers. So, or nine, nine? Yeah, nine different ones on hers. So um, I tried to look. Go ahead, I tried friends. to log into the YouTube channel. It's telling me that doesn't exist. Um, did I type it wrong? You. Uh, 
youtube.com or BHHS NWRE. Okay, I'll put this in the chat. Does it work now? Work for me. I probably typed it in wrong. Okay. No, I did it the exact same way. I think you got to put YouTube or uh, put www in front of it. Ah, okay. It, it works. And if you go to, they're right here, right? So they're all right there in the front. And then I'll add this one on there too, so you have it. Okay. Um, the other one is Amy Hartwig. These are the ones I know of. I mean, there might be more of them out there. So she went out and took all her own photos. So Junction City. If you're a Washington homeowner, 2022 is your last chance to go solar. In December of 2020, Congress passed an extension to the solar that me? Pays homeowners. Okay, so she must have added something to it. I don't know. That was a lot of people. Now we can do a, a property investment profile. Uh, All right. Oh, that was Franz. <laughs> okay. I muted you, Franz. All right. Uh, something else in the chat. Sun River, Oregon has same zip code as part of Bend. Can we do the community of Sun River only? Um, well, that's a good question. Let me see. It's sorted out through RMLS area codes. Um, okay, so I'm going to add. Let's see if this website will do Sun River. It should. Okay, Sun River, Oregon. Okay, is that what you're looking for, or do you wanted you wanted something else? And talk to me in the chat. We only have like 10 homes per sale. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting there. And let me see, pending, sold, submit. Yeah, seven. So you might want to do all of Sun River, right? Um, what's the zip code? Nine, seven. Now, I know we were having some problems the other day with 97703, right? So let's hit go. So you got a lot more in there. You have 51 now. Um, then pendings and solds, it's met. That's given us. Uh, too many results, right? So, oh, that's why I want to go back three months, hit submit, and that takes us to 305. That's still quite a few. So maybe go back two months. Two sixty-eight. So that's not really helping us. Maybe do um He's on site 30 or less. I might get rid of some new construction on site. Yeah, so that cut it in half. Well, there's some new construction there. So nice sounds too. I love Bend, Oregon. I love to go to Bend. Um, so does that answer your question? Oh. Um, I have lots of buyers only interested in Sun River proper, not Caldera Springs, for example. So this is too far out. Nine eight nine seven seven zero seven is too far out. Is that what I'm hearing? I know it's nine seven zero zero three. Yeah. So what I would do is I would do a poly, right? So um, 
let's do Sun River. And there you go. Right, and then if that didn't work, if you didn't like that, then I would do a poly. So if you want to cut it down to just a neighborhood, right? So you could do individual neighborhoods, right? So let's say, for example, this is a neighborhood. I don't know the neighborhood, so. Um, and it might be easier to go satellite. Right, because then it's easier to see the neighborhood. So then I could clear that overlay, maybe go a little closer in. Right, and then you could just pick a neighborhood and do a poly around the neighborhood. I mean, that's what I would do hyper local, right? Get as hyper local as you can, as long as you still have some statistics to show. Right, and then then you're you're just in that neighborhood. So there's a lot of flexibility here. Is that Sun River Airport? And no airport, airport. Sun River had an airport. Learn something new every day. Okay. All right. So does that make sense? Does that help? Right. So you can get as goofy or as you know, the only thing I'm saying is get it to, you know, somewhere. So for example, in my neighborhood, I only have 15 houses in my neighborhood, right? And my neighborhood's easy to find because, um, so this is my neighborhood. So if I did a polygon for my neighborhood, Only one house is going to show up because nothing sells there very often, right? Now I live in Tacoma. This is actually Tacoma. And if I change this, I do everything, right? Do them all. And then let's say I, I got to go back probably probably 12 months to get anything and still only one shows up. So if I send out a report with just one house, it's probably not gonna, not gonna be very good, right? I mean, that's not gonna be a good report. Now, um, this is Federal Way. So this is Tacoma, this is Federal Way. Um, so I do like to see you know, I, I have my own PIP on my own house. I'm a real estate agent. I could look this stuff up, but I have a PIP on my own house, right? Because I want to know what's going on. 1.2 million across the street. That's freaking ridiculous. Hey, sorry. I hope so. That just makes mine more. So, you know, I'm going to do like a polygon like this um, that gives me a little more information. Um, for that, right? So that when the report goes out, it kind of gives me more what's going on uh, in both those neighborhoods. Because I'm a nosy neighbor too, right? I, I want to see what's going on. It's a nice house, big house. This is the house up the hill from me, just sold for 865, so nice. Okay. Okay, uh, any other questions? No, pretty simple, pretty easy squeezy. Yeah, I like I like this, I really like this. I mean, it's nice, it's a nice little no word. It looks good. What's that? So Paul, if we uh, give us about a month to play with this and see what we can do and then Find out how many of us still want to fine tune our answers from you. Yeah, that's what I would do, right? I'd go in there and play with it. You can't break it. So um, we have been having some issues with some of the searches. So if you have that problem, please forward me the email 
um, that you're getting, you know, the screen with the criteria so that we can get the data people to look and see what's going on. Okay. Been, okay. It's been, good. been good. Thank you very much. All right. My pleasure. Um, I, I love this tool. I think it's a great tool. Uh, and I hope you all use it. If you need help, just let me know. Okay, everybody, adios.